Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word for November 8th. It's the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now let's stand up and sing our opening song. reading from the book of wisdom wisdom shines brightly and she is easily seen by all who love her and search for her wisdom hurries to meet everyone who wants to be wise if you get up early and search you will easily find her at your door keep your mind on wisdom and you will be very wise keep thinking about her and all of your worries will soon disappear Wisdom goes around searching for those who deserve her. She meets them along the road and stays in their thoughts. The word of the Lord. Now we all say, thanks be to God. Shadow 
reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. My friends, we want you to understand how it will be for those followers who have already died. Then you won't grieve over them and be like people who don't have any hope. We believe that Jesus died and was raised to life. We also believe that when God brings Jesus back again, he will bring with him all who had faith in Jesus before they died. Our Lord Jesus told us that when he comes, we won't go up to meet him ahead of his followers who have already died. With a loud command and with the shout of the chief angel and a blast of God's trumpet, the Lord will return from heaven. Then those who had faith in Christ before they died will be raised to life. Next, all of us who are still alive will be taken up into the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the sky. From that time on, we will all be with the Lord forever. Encourage each other with these words. The word of the Lord. Now we all say, thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. And we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this story about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened one night when ten girls took their oil lamps and went to a wedding to meet the groom. Five of the girls were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but no extra oil. The ones who were wise took along extra oil for their lamps. The groom was late arriving and the girls became drowsy and fell asleep. Then in the middle of the night, someone shouted, Here's the groom, come to meet him. When the girls got up and started getting their lamps ready, the foolish ones said to the others, Let us have some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. The girls who were wise answered, That's not enough oil for all of us. Go and buy some for yourselves. While the foolish girls were on their way to get some oil, the groom arrived. The girls who were ready went into the wedding, and the doors were closed. Later, the other girls returned and shouted, Sir, sir, open the door for us. But the groom replied, I don't even know you. 
So, my disciples, always be ready. You don't know the day or the time when all of this will happen. The Gospel of the Lord. And now we all say, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. In today's Bible story, we heard about girls that were waiting to see a wedding groom in the nighttime. And at first, I wanted to put myself in the story as one of the girls. And then I wanted to put myself in the story as the groom. But then I thought, what if we're the lamp? And then I thought of the thing that goes into the lamp that makes it shine. And that's the oil. I think that some of the trouble that we have being the lamp is thinking that we have to make our own oil in order to shine. So we do things like try extra hard in, in school, and we do things like try to be a good team player, um, maybe on baseball or basketball. We try to be all those things for ourselves. But then I thought, Jesus puts that oil in our lamp, and every time we pray, our oil fills up in our lamp. And every time we do kind things, our oil gets a little fuller in our lamp. And when we have plenty of oil in our lamp, then our light can shine for others. And we can be a light for others. So today and always, Make sure that you have plenty of oil in your lamp. You can do that very easily by just being a good friend to Jesus. And he will always be a good friend to you. And that is the good news for today. Now, go and be a light for everybody. Bye. Now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, his son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, grant that we live a good life with Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone in need. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. It's at this time of the Mass that we bring our gifts to the altar. Since we can't celebrate the Eucharist together, we celebrate an act of spiritual communion. As we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our time together has ended, so go forth and announce the There's gospel. A lot of mine.